So, how's it going guys? Shit here, back with another video, and today's video I will be talking about uh, Manadium. So, one of you guys asked me for a um, Manadium, vi Manadium video uh, on uh, combos and uh, how to play into Droll and Nibiru. So, I just gather here a few combos. Uh, I just went through the three major uh, one card combos, uh, which is uh, Rhyme Heart and... Um, Rykard and the Samsara uh, normal summons. Uh, these are going to be all the one card combos. And then I have uh, two combos, one playing into Droll and one playing into uh, Nibiru. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's just get into it. So first off, uh, the Room Heart combo. This is the optimal normal summon from the deck. So basically just normal summon, you get Meek. Meek can special summon itself because you have a Manadium. Uh, no, a monster with... Uh, 1500 attack and 2100 defense. And then you can go into Trisukta, Trisukta effect, special summon the Meek. And since you have a tuner and a light monster, you can go for Armory Tara, even if you have double tuners. Uh, so Armory Tara activates effect, you can get Calarium here, which is really, really nice. And we just link off into Light Art, Light Art gets us the Rekphobia. So Rekphobia first, uh, we get the Rek Art. Uh, we want to do it this way because we want Calarium to stay on the field. And then we go Calarium, Search, Starfrost. Then we special summon Rykart under Lightheart for arrival. We go Starfrost on the Lightheart. And right here we are going to use these two for a single summon into Brawn. We're going to go Scareclaw Rival, summon back the Starfrost. And now the Lightheart can summon itself. We are going to link it off for another light art so that we can get Wreck Phobia for next turn because the first effect is not once per turn. Uh, so as long as you can make light art in the extra zone, you can do it as much as you want. Um, then we just link into a cross ship right here under Brawn and we special summon a Vicious uh, in the other zone using uh, just Visas and one Rhyme Heart. So, uh, on the summon on Vicious, we can trigger Cross Ship to summon from the grave Meek. And now uh, we can use Baron to pop Meek, and it's going to trigger Meek and the field spell. So, we're going to get double tuners. And of course, this tuner spell summoned by Meek effect is going to be level 4. So, we're going to use the level 4 Meek and the Astral to go into Crimson, and the Crimson effect is going to get us into this pattern, and we go this pattern. Summon Starfrost, and we can just go for a 3 material Appaloosa, and we also got follow up. So, yeah, we end on this pattern uh, uh, Baron and 3 material Appaloosa plus Rack for for next turn off of just one Realm Heart, which is really nice. And of course, we also have set up in the graveyard for um, um, Astral Owl, we still have uh, this and the 1500 attack monster so yeah this is like your optimal one card combo the optimal uh normal summon it's always going to be a uh, realm heart and it's always going to be realm heart uh without starting on calarium um because if not then you um i feel like you're going to need an extra uh, extender to go into like um Appaloosa, but if you don't have that extra extender, you can just, if you start with Calarium instead, instead of searching Calarium, you just search for um, the reframing and end on SP Baron, uh, this pattern with reframing, which could also be super nice. Uh, so this is the one card combo. Uh, now let's go into the Scareclaw one card combo. So you just normal summon and go for a search on arrival. We link one into the um, Scareclaw, uh, Light Art, we get Rackphobia, and our Rackphobia search Starfrost. We use Starfrost to pop the Light Art. Now we can use Light Art to summon back, and it's going to link itself off for a second one, so we get follow up. And then we can go Arrival, go into Baron with those two, and we can go into Vicious so that we can uh, make. SP Little Knight alongside Baron 
um, in our combo. I know this is a lot worse uh, than uh, normal summoning uh, Rim Heart, but this is just what you can do uh, with one Rykard because these are your normal like uh, summons from the deck. Uh, there's not like any other monster uh, that you want to have in your hand the most, except for maybe like a, drawing one Meek in combination with either of these is also really nice. Um, but so yeah, the, you're most likely going to be stuck with either a Rykard normal summon, Rium Hard normal summon, or Samsara normal summon. So that's why I just went with um, those combos. Of course, you have tons and tons on extenders, but I'll talk about it in the deck list. So yeah, this of course are in case you are stuck with Rykard, uh, because most likely you have more engine in your deck to play and get a easily better board than this. Um, so now we get Samsara, and Samsara is quite in interesting, uh, because just off of this normal summon you can get access to the Meek. Um, so basically how you do it is you a normal summon, go into Lightheart, Lightheart searches the Rekphobia, and we go Rekphobia for uh, Rykard, we go um, Rykard, special search arrival, and we can just special summon a Samsara, and we synchro off because Samsara is a tuner. For Amritara and Amritara um, gets the Calarium. Then you go Calarium into Meek. Then you can special summon Meek. Go into a cross ship. And you can special summon, of course, Slide Art because you control Amritara. And you can just banish uh, because this is treated as uh, with Starfrost. So you can banish both uh, for your vicious plays. And then Gross Ship, of course, summons one. And you can, of course, since you have Calarium, use Amritara to pop it. And then you're gonna get both mix. Uh, and you just go into Baron. And you can go for uh, something like uh, for Material Appaloosa. So this is a little bit better than a normal summon um, Rykard, um, but plays a bit more into things like talents or something like that, but yeah, uh, still really really good board. Uh, now let's get into playing into, uh, I think the first one is Nibiru, so yeah, uh, this will be f um, uh, into Nibiru. You can never like just one entra one card like combo through Nibiru, I feel like. Um, I feel like if your opponent doesn't uh, Nibiru you in the right time, uh, the one card Rium Heart combo can play into Nibiru. If your opponent just Nibiru's you when you are about to go into the Baron, if that's the place where your opponent Nibiru's you, I feel like there's uh, a few things you can do there to just, uh, uh, in that one card combo, just completely still end on a full board. Um, but yeah, this is the easier way to play uh, around the Viru. Uh, it's just going to be access, access to Calarium and either Rhyme Heart plus the uh, Visas. So we go Calarium, Search, Visas, and we normal summon Rhyme Heart. Get the Meek. Now we special summon Meek. And we can go Star Frost on the Meek. And Meek Effect gets back another Meek. You don't use Calarium to special summon the Meek from the graveyard right now because then it would be five summons and your opponent nibirs you and there's no place you can go for. So you need to just not summon it and you go into Baron right here. And you can only use Baron on the Meek right now so that you can trigger both Meek and Calarium if that's what we want um, to get both, mo uh, both tuners. Uh, and then of course we can just uh, go into Vicious right here, use those two to get into this batter. Uh, not this batter, you just go Crimson Dragon and then Crimson summon this batter. I just skipped a step for uh, time reasons. Um, then this batter can summon something from your uh, from your uh, Banish, uh, and you're gonna summon back the Visas. So now you can use these two to go into the Synchro 8 of Amritara and search for the reframing. And you can link one into Light Art, get the Rackphobia. Rackphobia gets the Rackart. Um, here I summoned in the wrong zone, but you just have to summon Hunter here. It's just a myth click 
I repair it right here. Um, yeah, you can now like link this two off, and you don't even need to go to a second of vicious. Uh, you can just like arrival back uh, the star frost, and that you can use light artifact to special summon itself from the grave, and then you can go into like Appaloosa for three. And you have reframing Appaloosa, this pattern, and Baron through Nibiru because you summon Baron on number on num uh, summon number five. It's really really nice. And now uh, the same hands are going into a uh, draw. Um, you don't need to have Calarium in rotation. Uh, it uh, it's only like gonna make it harder into the draw. Um, there's not many combos that you can use to play through Droll. You just need to already have the pieces that you want to search in rotation, such as uh, Starfrost, uh, Rheumheart, and Meek. Uh, if you already have these two, then you can start with Calarium, because then uh, you already have all the three pieces when your opponent rolls. Uh, basically, that's that. So, so you, for you to play into Nibiru, you just have to have access to uh, 1500 attack, 2100 defense monster. Meek, and Starfrost. That's all you need to go into, uh, to go in just combo through uh, draw. So you just go Rim Heart here, get Meek, and that's when your opponent draws you. Now you can special summon Meek, go into Starfrost, and now Meek special summons from the deck. Now you can go into Baron so that your opponent has no further interruptions on you, and you immediately go into Vicious. And you can like synchro those two off for um, Ice Shade, Ymir, or you can make the Espilero Knight. It's up to you. Um, Ice Shade Gimir actually has some really really cool uh, applications. Uh, sometimes uh, it is really really strong uh, against things like Brent, but it just basically just fully protects your monsters. And uh, if it's activated, uh, responding to a uh, effect. You can banish uh, the card that uh, it is responding to. So if your opponent goes like Mirror Jade effect, if you're playing against Branded, you can just Ice Jade Chain. And so it protects your monsters from the Mirror Jade effect. And then it just banishes the Mirror Jade, which is insane. And of course, uh, you'll be protected from the pop. So then Mirror Jade activating to pop the field will not work, which is really, really nice. Uh, but SP could be like the most generic interruption. Uh, it's up to you on what you want to do. Uh, right here I just chose to go into SP. So yeah, it's just going to SP. And normally when you go into SP, you want to always banish the Vicious. Because then in later turns you can just cycle it back into the extra deck with something like... Um, this Patter, for example. If you have like this Patter on your field and your opponent activates an effect and you want to use this Patter to destroy, you can just shuffle back the Vicious so now you have another Vicious to special summon from the extra deck for plays, which is really, really nice. And yeah, I know these are a lot worse boards right here, but you just have to understand that uh, True Nibiru, uh, sorry, True Droll, uh, Droll is just too hard of um, a card right now. It's so, so, so bad to play against it. Really, really hurts the deck. Um, you could have also went here for this pattern, but then it's it has no no like um, reason for it. Like you can use then respire to like recycle something into the field. Like you just get Starfrost back or something. But then there's like nothing you can do with that Starfrost you get back or that Rim Heart you get back unless you have another extender. If you have another extender, uh, then I guess that will be fine. If you have a Sam or stuff, uh, you could uh, get back the Starfrost or get back the Rim Heart. And then special summon the other one and get some more plays going. Uh, but yeah, if not, then this is basically all you can do, uh, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. It's just we really lose hard to roll. So going into the deck list, uh, I prefer to play synchro uh, version. Some people are trying to play now into uh, Xyz links and synchros. Uh, with like the wanted engine and stuff, but I like this version, especially because I just enjoy synchros in general. So I just enjoy so so much playing this version of the deck, um, and I really really think it's one of the best versions to play this deck. So uh, you just play triple Rheum Heart for maximum consistency. It's the best one card starter you have, 
it could also be like an extender as well into some plays or a way to dodge Imperm, for example, on Rykard, which is why against the deck you should never Imperm Rykard, because you can just like chain room hard, pop Rykard, and so it dodges Imperm, and you get also Rhyme Room Heart on the field. Really, really nice. Uh, then we also play Triple Rykard just because you want as much starters as possible. So maximizing him, it's not too bad. Of course, uh, it's not the most optimal play, but it's it's not like we can play 12 Room Hearts or something. So uh, we just have to accept having uh, some less good starters. But yeah, so we still need some starters. So we still play Triple Rykard. Um we also play Triple Samsara, uh, because this is also an extender. You can just special summon it by shuffling back stuff into the deck, which is really, really good. You can just get your uh, Starfrost from the Banish pile just right into the deck, which is really, really good. Uh, and another really, really good starter. Uh, then we have uh, Triple Meek, because uh, Triple Meek is mandatory. I would never play two, uh, because some combos you will just go through all three of them. And even if you like want to play two so that you see less the second mic in your hand, it just you should never do it. Honestly, you should never ever do that. Uh, triple mic is the way to go, and Torrid is absolutely really really bad, really really bad in this deck. I do not uh, like playing Torrid at all. Uh, mic is just way better in that. Uh, because the thing is, sometimes when you pop your Meek, uh, you do that because you also want to have like a level 4 tuner. So just playing Torrid just is not that good because, yeah, you may be able to get another uh, tuner in rotation uh, by playing the one Torrid so you can have like 4 Meek, kinda. Um, but you cannot have the ability to put him as a level 4, so I, I really think Torrid sucks that you just play triple Meek. That's the way to go. Uh, then we have two Vizes because this does nothing by itself. You, it is a good extender. Uh, so like, two is more than enough. Since it's a level 6, it's kind of a brick uh, to draw into him if we don't draw any of our normal summons up there. So two is more than fine, and you still see him whenever it counts. Then we have our Searchers. The field spells, we play Triple Calarium, 2 Reich, Phobia, 1 Pearl or Rhino. Calarium, Calarium is the best one by far. It searches all your best cards uh, and has the effect to revive a uh, Destroy Tuner, which is really, really cool. And just uh, enables us to do so, so much. You always want to see Calarium as much as possible during your combos. Then we play... Do Reich Phobia because it's nice. Uh, your one card combo can just search the second one for follow up, so it's it's just another uh, plus that you get for free by playing the second one. Uh, of course, playing three is not good at all. You just don't want to draw into this that much. You just or at all, you just want to search it off of uh, the light art. So two is more than enough, perfect amount. You get to get follow up of your one card combo. And you just don't see it in your hand as a starter because you don't want that. Uh, and then we have the one Pearl of Rhino, uh, so that sometimes when we already went through our Calarium and Rackphobia, we can search this off of something like Amritara uh, to get the Vidas that we are missing sometimes. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I feel like the Pearl of Rhino will come up sometimes. Uh, and of course we have Terraforming so that we can just have more copies of everything that anything that we're missing. Um, mostly Calarium whenever we go for terraforming. Then we have the Manadium, uh, spell straps. I feel like just one, one, one is more than enough. One obsession. Uh, I mean, like now that we have Trisurta, uh, the one card combo of Room Heart Search Obsession just is not that great. It's far more better to just go for the um, Rhyme Heart make Trisurta into like Amritara and Amritara searches everything and just play from there. I feel like Obsession is not as good as it was, but it might come up sometimes. Uh, so I feel like one-off is uh, decent. And of course, against uh, matchups, 
that like mill our deck if we happen to get a position in our graveyard. Uh, the graveyard effect is also really nice, so it's always good to have in your deck. Uh, then we play one imaginings. Um, basically, it's just for whenever you already have everything you need. You can just search this off of real mart so that you can probably try and get some really important non-engine. Just uh, fix your hand. We can also place back mix in case we have drawn into some mix that we don't not want in your hand. You draw multiples of them, so uh, imaginings does come up uh, quite quite well. And uh, the second effect, not so much, but the effect, the first effect is good enough to uh, put it as a one-off in our deck list. And then we have reframing, because sometimes, depending on our hand, you can just search this into our combo, it just makes it so much more stronger, because now you have an Omni Negate that doesn't come from your monster, so you're safe from something like uh, Dark Ruler, you're safe from something like uh, forbidden droplet if your opponent doesn't discard any traps so uh, reframing is really really good and the second effect just allowing you to shuffle back all your mix is really really nice i like having reframing setups as much as possible then of course you play the one arrival uh, the two arrival uh, because uh, it's okay to join to it if you like join to one of them and you search the second one, it's like you have double monster reborn because uh, it's not once per turn, the activation of the card, so you can just like uh, use the first effect multiple times, so you can just double monster reborn. Uh, boom, that's really, really good. Um, so yeah, you, did, you could cut this out to one, but I feel like two is nice. Really, really nice sometimes. And of course we play the one Rota because it searches everything that we might want at all. Uh, searches everything. Uh, our All our one card starters searches our extenders. It, it's, it does everything that we want uh, for the stack. Rota is insane. And then uh, going into non-engine I decide to play three Fenrir because you can play... Um, as I'm kind of testing, uh, the one Ryzard. Some people play... Um, the Scareclock Ash tier so that you can just like normal summon Ash for example with the Fenrir, go into Baron and then full combo with the uh, Scareclock Ash Tira. but I like Ryzart a bit because um, he is a 1500 attack 2100 defense monster and sometimes if you open like Fenrir uh, plus Meek that means that searching this can just full combo by itself because just normal summon the Ryzart Special summon meek and go full uh, room heart combo uh, off of getting uh, Fenrir plus meek in your hand, which is really really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm trying the rise art at the moment. I am liking it uh, quite honestly. Uh, but this, but yes, yeah, Scareclaw uh, Kashira may also come up quite nicely. I just feel like uh, having something that plays with my. Uh, level 2 tuner of my engines is better than just some random hand trap, for example. And of course, then we have our hand traps. We have a droll because they're really super strong this format. There's no explanation needed. Uh, we have Ash Blossoms uh, because really, really good generic and helps us against the, um, uh, the Labyrinth matchup, for example. And of course, Triple Imperm because just really, really solid generically. Extra deck, we have double light art so that we can also have like follow up of our one card combo. We just need the second one for it. Uh, so, two is more than nice. We have the one cross ship for our combos. Dark is also really, really good. Uh, might uh, be uh, put out of the list this format depending on uh, non fire decks. How do they look? Uh, be because if the non-fire decks are not like a dark attribute or not that common. Uh, you might actually just take dark off of your deck and put in, for example, the unicorn for when you're link climbing uh, into access code. So yeah, dark might come off this um, this format. We just need to know uh, better um, if it does come up still or not. Uh, then SP, really, really nice. Uh, it always comes up. 
Honestly, you can just if you don't like Appaloosa, you can just go into SP. Sometimes the 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 combos, for example, the last one with uh, the Samsara, could also instead of uh, ending on um, on the Bron plays, you can end on like SP reframing. Uh, so SP, SP is just really really nice. It, it could be part of your uh, your um, uh, end board sometimes, depending on uh, how do you want it to play. Uh, but yeah, SP is just really, really good. And especially, like, going second, just finishing, uh, playing through your board, and you just take two monsters, make this, and you can banish something from the fire decks that helps them uh, with grind game, like, for example, the Garunix, or you can just banish uh, the Promethean Princess. Uh, so really, really nice right now. Uh, and then, of course, just have Appaloosa Access Code uh, for your uh, place. Appaloosa just... Um, Add so much to our boards, and the access code is so so strong. Going second, um, there are lines so that you can OTK uh, with access code uh, through shifter. Um, so yeah, um, you can actually like get with like a two card combo. You can just like full OTK sometimes uh, with access code talker or uh, under di dimensional barrier. You can just not synchro and at all and you just OTK with access code uh access code. So yeah, really really cool. Uh then synchros we play the one Sukta for our main combos with uh, Rhymeheart. The one I'm retired because it's really really nice synchro eight option that just gets us ev anything in our deck basically. Uh the one Baron because it's just really nuts and allows us to play around Nibiru as well. Uh, the one is pattern because just a really really good interruption that also works as an extender. Uh, the one ice shade gimmer because it's situational, uh, but when it comes up, it comes up really really nice, and I like it a lot over DK's angel actually. Uh, you could find space for it, but I just like uh, gimmer right now so much. Uh, so yeah, I just put it in, and especially if like if you're kind of budget and you can't afford the case angel, at least uh, you can just play the gimmer instead. Uh, and yeah, one Crimson Dragon so that you can go into the Dispatter and to Astralot because the second one might come up in some combos or for uh, going second after you use the first one uh, on your combo. So really, really good. Um, side deck, I put in Triple Bell because uh, Labyrinth exists and it's also really good against uh, the Fire decks. Uh, and then I have some uh, Triple Tactics um, package or going second, uh, it just helps us a lot, uh, and it's really really good in this deck, especially because if you already have, have a non-engine, and you just you already can like break your opponent's board, you can just like get Rota and full combo with it, really really nice. So triple dress is really good in this deck, also triple talents is just nuts this format, um, it just does a lot into some boards. It makes it so that the fire boards, for example, are just really, really simplified and uh, easily breakable sometimes. Uh, especially some combos that they do with Appaloosa, playing uh, around things like Nibiru. You can just like balance take the Appaloosa and just help so, so much break the board. It's, it's like it completely a game changer. I like it a lot. Uh, and then, of course, you have the three cards for the Thrust package, which is the one soul release. Uh, because right now soul release is insane, it just removes everything from um, the opponent's graveyard. It can completely end uh, their like grind game, which is really really nice. Uh, one feather duster, of course, for uh, back row decks, and the one evenly for going second, of course, just shuts down so many boards right now. Uh, if your opponent is not playing like the Baron packaging, like Fire Kings, it's just so much. Really, really good. And then the last three spots I decided to um, keep for like extra deck um, space. I just wanted to side the one Goddess, uh, the one Unicorn, and of course we have the Cowboy for time. I feel like uh, these cards will help us, of course, since we already have a really big package for Trust uh, that also helps us uh, having a really good um, variety of matchups. Um, I feel like the extra deck is also uh, one of the easiest ways to just like side for some matchups, for example, things like pearly and stuff. Goddess just really shines. 
And of course, Unicorn can sometimes be put in for like going second when you're link climbing into Access Code Talker, which is really, really nice. And yeah, Cowboy for Time, you know, the big meme, but it's really, really good in this deck because you have just so much level 4s like the Rim Hearts, the Rike Hearts, the Samsaras. So yeah. Uh, that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my video. Uh, I hope I didn't like ramble a little about and just confuse you guys. So yeah, if you did enjoy, leave a like down below. Comment if you have any questions or suggestions for me. And subscribe to never miss any of my future videos. And that's gonna be it. I'll see you guys next time.